To preface this, let me be clear. This is not a video about why you should or should not pull Charter, nor is this about trying to change your opinion. If you guys want to pull, that's great. If you like Charter, that's also perfectly fine and valid. Like, people want to pull her for a multitude of reasons, be it her strength, they like Chen or whatever. I've seen a lot of genuine hype for her and I think that's really great to see and that people are taking something positive out of this. However, people also dislike her for very valid and perfectly fine reasons. So this video is going to discuss the reasons why people may dislike her. I've seen some confusion on why there's hate, as well as people calling out others who seemingly hate her for no reason. I'm not going to be discussing what happened on CN here. You can watch Cookie's video on that right he here. Here, yes, here. Let's begin. When the whole CN fiasco went down, many people on EN felt the effects too. If you look at the comments on my own Charter videos, you can clearly see how people were reacting. I think it's hard to say people hate Charter for the sake of it, when the CN players sharing their thoughts did explain why they didn't like her. Even if it's inherited reasons, they are nonetheless reasons to dislike her. Being told why something is bad can change someone's opinions if you support it enough, which CN players definitely did at the time. So this brings me to the whole situation where people are arguing about whether to build Charter or not. This is barely an argument because like anyone sensible already knows the answer to it but I'll say it again, build her if you want. CN has already done the boycotting for us, there is no reason for us to continue this. Charter was the second worst performing limited banner ever and the noise they made has already prompted HG, sorry no, Hypergriff to say that they are eventually going to make a statement. We can freely pull and it will not matter at all. At this point, whether you pull or not should be based on your own personal preferences, your own personal likes and yeah. If you, dis if you dislike for her for your own reasons, then that's fine, but don't hinder other people's enjoyment too. So what are these reasons exactly that I'm citing? There's some here that are more subjective, some here that are more objective. Either way, I urge people to keep an open mind and understand that people see th things differently. Let's start with the most subjective one, the art. That's how the L2D makes her spine grow as she breathes, how the gun is literally the entire length of her arm and her head looking kinda small. And that's the sort of stuff with the parrots, but yeah, the, the point is uh, a bit strange. Personally, I'm more miffed that instead of the drippy, touristy outfit, we got a bog standard bikini. I'm also not big on her voice. It sounds nasal for some reason, like she's sick. But once chapter 9 dropped, we got CN versus anyway, so all was good. Uh, this is a very personal point, I know, but I thought it might be good to share anyways. But this is also why you guys should be more open to EN voices. Because if you happen to dislike one of the options, you can just try the others and who knows, maybe you'll enjoy it more than the JP voice or like the CN voice or whatever. And of course, we can't not mention the fact that she's the best operator in the game and makes even Sutter look balanced. I still remember the first day the event dropped, E2 SL7 Zero Trust Shorter on H71. Clearing a 4 op run on the first try and being so disgusted and shocked that I couldn't stop laughing at how stupidly broken it was. To explain how this is a problem, let's look at Patriot, the highest defense in the game, other than enemies with shields, at a whopping 2100 defense. To those who don't keep up with numbers, basically no one except the likes of Schwartz can hope to deal with him without pass or debuffs. Like even Sylvash does only a, a third of his HP with his full skill duration at E2 max. So yeah, here's a clip of Chota demolishing him with only two minds to support her. But that's not all, that's not enough. Let's give her true AoE with this disgustingly high physical damage. A defense debuff to support other units and an ammo skill, so she doesn't waste her skill duration when there aren't enemies and she can cancel anytime to set up for another wave when need be. The thing that most people say to rebut this point is just don't use her. Easy. Which is somewhat true. It's a single player game after all. You choose how you want to play. But for players that want to go high risk in CC, those who want to break records, those who simply want to have an easy time clearing content, Charter is now a must pull. In the upcoming CC6, she was the sole reason why max risk was achieved, the next closest being 4 risks away, which is a lot in high risk terms. 
When content is only clearable with an operator as blatantly broken as this, it just leaves a bad taste in the mouth, no matter if you are using her or not. Her mere existence as a unit feels distasteful in the face of the otherwise mostly balanced and unique skill sets in the others. Another worry is also that content will now be built around her as a skill. This pretty much only applies to CC and maybe H stages in future chapters, and probably won't even happen considering how CCs even now still differ in difficulty drastically. Regardless, it's a valid worry especially from players of other games where something like this did happen. It's only held back by our knowledge that Hypergriff is actually great at making levels and difficulty scaling. And of course, finally, the kicker! She's limited, let's go! With everything I just said, the last two points especially, I think it's easy to see why people are miffed. The most broken operator in the game is in a double raid up with a, uh, I'm, I'm sorry Mizuki, uh, underwhelming 6 star. At a 35% actual raid up for her, it feels scummy for her to be a limited of all things. People are gonna be pressured to pull for her as the strongest operator, pressured to spend money on her to keep up the meta, it's the fear of missing out. It's like a one time chance thing. The only other time that you can get her is on the next summer limited banner, where she'll only be at a, at a slight rate up. Unless you are will, it's going to be stupidly tough to spark her, and even if you are will, that's a lot of money. It doesn't matter if you are casual, meta, or new player, what I just said applies to all of these. Turning one of the most popular characters in the game into a cash cow doesn't sit right with many. I personally fully expected a broken limited one day, so I wasn't surprised at all, but it's not a good thing for my expectations to be right here. This has been a very depressing video, but I felt it was important that people understood why others felt the way that they did. I've seen arguments about this going back and forth, and I think the problem at the core of it is misunderstanding, or lack of understanding. I was initially very excited for Chowter personally, I'm a big Guard Chen fan, so seeing her get a new form was like, yo, let's go. This is... <gasps> what? <laughs> but as someone who followed the CN situation closely, I also understand why people do not like her, and I've been swayed myself to not like her. So yeah, I'm very aware of all the problems she has. Neither takes away from the other. You can be hyped about Chowter knowing everything that has gone wrong with her. Like if you only care about her character, that's perfectly fine. Moving forward, Hypergriff has definitely been thinking about this. Their 2.5 livestream was definitely a show of um, care. It was a show of change. And for a lot of us, I think that it helped us regain our trust in them. Like. IS2, I forgive you for everything you did now. Regardless, things are looking good for the future of AK. We just have to hope that Shorter was their one mistake. That's about it. Um, I'm thinking of doing more talk videos like this. So if you want to see more stuff like this, like and sub and goodbye.